hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and this is minx kinks hey y'all welcome back to another vlog let me tell y'all today is christmas eve and i feel so bad because i'm filming this on christmas eve so y'all aren't gonna see this until child who knows i have like three vlogs on my computer um i'm really gonna try my best to do better with getting vlogs up more frequently um next year in 2024 because child it's a lot it's a lot of moving pieces to make sure that this piece goes with this vlog and chat. I'm all over the place. And plus, I really want you guys to see things in real time. If you follow me on Instagram, more of that is definitely obviously more real time. But I'm going to try and do better next year. More of the story. But today is Christmas Eve, like I said. So I have on my Christmas pajamas. Um, that's, that's a thing that my mom has done for us forever is matching pajamas. So I have on my pajamas, even though I live not at home anymore but baby sis is actually coming to stay tonight with me and we're gonna um build a gingerbread house and watch christmas movies and just you know trying to hang out and vibe together so i'm really excited for that of course and then we'll go down to my mom's house in the morning but i actually came on here now because i went to home goods the other day i went to home goods the other day and honestly i love home goods <sighs> listen it's such an adult store child because <laughs> it's really like home accessories and knickknacks and stuff but i literally love it there it's like the tj max and marshalls of home stuff if you've never been um so i love what i do make a random stop at home goods because i always end up leaving with a bag full of stuff that i didn't really need but i need it you know what i'm saying so i actually went in there for a card because they have some of the funniest cards i don't know if y'all know but they have some of the funniest cards but and then i went in and i started to look around and they had valentine's day stuff up so y'all know i had to participate so i got these blankets it's a three pack of these heart blankets i literally love valentine's day that's because my birthday is february 3rd so valentine's day is kind of like you know and plus i'm a girly girl so the the pink and the flowers and all of that stuff are right up my speed so i decided to go ahead and pick these up and for this three pack of towels it was 9.99 so can't beat it and while i was still in the valentine's day section i also found this glass mug which y'all i i think this is just the cutest little mug ever it's clear as you guys can see it is a clear mug which i love um i don't know that i need a set of clear mugs but for my little mug collection this one is definitely so so cute and it's double lined so the glass actually stops about here and then this part is just extra so i can't wait to go ahead and wash this and use it because how cute is this and this is a year-round thing for me i don't have too many mugs that i only use at specific times of the year but this one is 4.99 so 4.99 for this cute little mug and then the last thing that I got outside of the card I initially went in for is actually this cute little guy. How cute is he, y'all? Oh, my God. He's just like a little knickknack. He's an um, astronaut. He got his little book bag. And that is like a little storage compartment. So I'll insert a pop-up because it's not coming up in the same way as I want it to with all the lights and everything up. But hopefully you guys can see it in the pop-up. I literally love him. He will look adorable on my bookshelf. I'm literally about to put him on my bookshelf now. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to stick my highlighters in my um, in his book bag. Because I only use highlighters for the books that I read. So, And he was $9.99. So he will look so cute on my little shelf. So yeah y'all that is um, what I wanted to come on and show you guys. Like I said today's Christmas Eve so I'll end up giving you guys a Christmas haul. If not tomorrow then chat at some point. I do have to go into the office. Christmas is on Monday this year so I have to go into the office on Tuesday and Wednesday because I'm covering for somebody which freaking sucks um, because I have to be at work at 830 so you know not too much fun on Christmas but it's cool um so i will end up giving you guys a haul i did go to i went hair product road y'all y'all know i have been doing so good at using up products and i have bought products from now three different stores so i it's still less than 10 products but i think i'm going to just do like a hair product haul um and i told you guys in one of my last vlogs my my job gave me all these amazon gift cards so i think I gave some of them away for like gifts but what I'm gonna do is is that I'm gonna buy what I want to buy child because y'all know we can never do that so I'm just gonna go rogue and buy everything that I have had my eye on have that I wanted you know that type of stuff 
um and then i will do a big huge amazon haul so that i'm not child filling up the blog with all this stuff i got from amazon but yeah y'all so let me get up off this camera um i have a little bit of a headache so i'm about to eat something and wait for sydney to come over hey you guys so today is actually december 26th um the day after christmas and i just wanted to hop on and say hey um this is what my hair is looking like day um three with the main choice do it throw the culture leaving in gel it's definitely not my worst wash and go i don't know why i keep trying to do middle parts but my wash and goes because it, it'll never work out for me i actually did stretch it and that's when i filmed the ending of that video but um don't mind my tree y'all i got it on a setting where it changes colors but hopefully it looks okay on camera show so um yeah this is what that hair looks like honestly it's definitely a lighter holding gel um i think that it'll be like a three day max type thing for me it definitely doesn't look terrible i'm gonna stretch it one more day i've had to go into the office um three days last week and i had to go two days this week so tomorrow will be my last day in the office thank goodness y'all because girl but thankfully i've been able to i've been fine um chill <laughs> so of course um yesterday was christmas so i got a bunch of gifts and stuff which i'm so so grateful for i'm not going to show you guys everything i got just because i just feel like that'll take too long honestly but i had co-workers and you know people give me gifts and stuff and that was really really thoughtful outside of my family i typically don't expect things like that um but yeah so some of my big gifts from my parents um I got Drake and J. Cole tickets. They're coming actually two weeks after my birthday. So I was really excited to get those because I've seen J. Cole in concert, but I've never been to a Drake concert. And if you know, you know, I just love me some Drake, okay? I know that's a controversial statement, but as for me, I love some Drake, okay? Um, I also got a new nameplate. So a lot of you guys have noticed I wear the same two necklaces every single day. Um, but my parents ordered me a new nameplate necklace, which I'm so excited for. Um, this one wasn't real. It was starting to tarnish and so they got me one which I'm so so thankful for because that was something I didn't really want to buy myself but you know. And then as far as other gifts I got perfume. My sister did this really cute like hodgepodge things that Tamiya would like type thing um, and I love that. I got books of course. I have a whole book haul that I need to film. Also my job gave us like a bunch of money in amazon gift cards i told y'all that before so tonight i'm going to spend that money okay because is it me or do y'all just be putting stuff in your amazon cart for a rainy day and then like if you have some extra money you like slide those things into your cart let me know um but like it's very rare that i'm able to spend this amount of money so y'all know i'm gonna go rogue and get absolutely everything that i want and everything that i need and still have money left over okay but yeah y'all that's that's basically it i don't want to come on here and show y'all every little thing that i got because i'm not um i am gonna go ahead and just like put the things away get ready for my last day in person at work tomorrow um today it wasn't that bad but y'all know i work from home so going into the office for the past week paying for parking thank god my job reimbursed for parking but paying for parking show but yeah y'all so that is what's tea right now honestly i don't really have a whole lot of plans for new i don't have any plans for new year's i feel like i've been like running 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 and i've had zero time to just like chill so honestly my job closes early on friday today is tuesday today's tuesday yeah today's tuesday my job closes early on friday and then we're off and then i actually took off the day after new year so maybe i'll link up with some people maybe i, I don't know maybe i'll do something job but like as for right now i'm just here for a good time like i just want to lay on my couch i want to watch insecure you know like i don't i don't get time for too much okay um but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and just like i said relax because child it has been it's been some time. It's been a time. Okay. Will you leave me to paradise? I'm trying to start the new year off right, y'all. Like, 2023 was not a bad year for me. Um, definitely a lot of, like, growing pains and stuff, but... 
I'm claiming 2024 is mine. Like, there's a lot of stuff that I want to do. There's a lot of things that I want to see. All of that. All of that. So, um, today I am getting up early. I want to sit. Not getting up early. Getting out early. It's 1030. So, I'm getting ready to go. I have recyclables. I have a ton of boxes and, like, plastic and that type of stuff to recycle. Y'all know. I try to recycle when I can, okay? Um, so I have a ton of stuff that needs to go be recycled. I got this book for Christmas. It is Today, Tonight, Tomorrow by Rachel Lynn Solomon. And both my mom and my sister actually got me this book. Let me tell y'all, I actually forgot this was even on my list. I just keep a list of things that I want on my phone so that if somebody asks me, like, to buy me something, like, I could just send them the list. Like, just pick out the list. And I honestly forgot this was on the list. And it's a little high schooly. It's a little high schooly, so I'm assuming this will be a little young for me, but I'm going to keep one of the two and read it and then, you know, make my decision there. So I have to run to Kohl's to go recycle this as well. Um, I need to run into CVS because I have a 30% off coupon. I'm just getting toilet paper, friend. Um, and then I got a $5 off of 10 from Ulta, and I have $8 in points. And y'all know Ulta's points be weird, so I'm just going to wipe out all my points and just you know spend like $15 in there since I have coupons and points so I'm like why not so I'm going to go and knock this stuff out um I'm gonna try to get y'all a couple clips but y'all know me um mm -hmm. <laughs> yesterday I did go see the color purple with my mom my aunt and one of my cousins and let me tell y'all it was so so good it was so so good I hate that there's all this like um controversy around the movie and like beef between like Taraji and Oprah and um, black actresses being underpaid and all of that because y'all know I stand black actresses yeah so I'm gonna run out and do my little bit of errands as for the rest of the day y'all see my house is a little bit chaotic I had to go into the office this past week and I feel like my house kind of suffered because of that so I have a lot of cleaning to do as well as just like new year cleaning I refuse to go into the new year with dirty sheets, with a dirty kitchen, like with my house a mess. I absolutely refuse to do that. So um, along with like my errands and that type of stuff today, I'm going to just like clean, lay around, just, just a very like chill day. Tomorrow, New Year's Eve, there is a game. Um, I might go hang out with my cousins. I might not. We'll see. Um, <laughs> very dependent on how I feel. New Year's Day, I want to wash my hair. Again, we're starting fresh. Fresh start. New Year's wash day, okay? Um, and I took off January 2nd, so I just have some time to recuperate as well. So I'm just hoping to get through a lot of stuff. I did read two additional books as well from my... What was that video? From uh, my best to worst books of 2023. They were just two very, very short novellas, like 75 pages each. I'm not going to review them um, because novellas are just uh, honestly too short for me to review in my opinion. I did um, track them on Goodreads and Storygraph so if you're interested in like hear my thoughts the link is always in my bio for my Goodreads. You could just check me out there. Add me as a friend so that we could talk okay. But yeah this is getting a little chatty so let me go and do the things that I have to do and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, you guys so i'm back home as you guys can see i did go to ulta i got you guys a tiny little clip chat i stay forgetting when i'm out and about and i'm driving child there just be too much going on but as you guys saw i did go to ulta of course and let me tell y'all i love ulta but i think that ulta has the stupidest reward system like ever i do not understand why my points expire like i just think that that's so criminal like my money didn't expire when i gave y'all my money like what do you mean my points are expiring so that's and more of the story is that's why i ended up going to ulta i had three dollars in points expiring and i did get a five dollars off of ten in the mail so i decided to go ahead and try something new today because honestly i still have a lot of skincare i honestly didn't even need this but you know so i picked up the good molecules lightweight daily moisturizer so this is what the packaging looks like and it's actually just like a cute little tube and honestly, I just decided to pick this up because I've really been liking Good Molecules as a brand. I have been um, really using up the Dark Spot 
discoloration serum whatever um so i decided to just go ahead and pick this up and i will say though i am very excited to try this as like a lightweight daily moisturizer this doesn't have spf in it and i like for my moisturizers to have spf so now i'll have to find a little bit of sunscreen to put in with this um they do have a sunscreen as well so maybe eventually i'll pick that up just to pair the two together um but i wish that this just had some spf in it i want my moisturizers to have spf personally but yeah y'all i don't like ulta's reward system like they're good at giving you points but i just don't understand why my points would ever expire because you never really get to like build up your points so like for me i had eight dollars in points today um and you can only use your points in increments of two dollars again not really sure why um, I really feel like Ulta should work on that because their reward system annoys the living crap out of me because nowhere else your points expire. Like, girl, get with the times, okay? And a lot of times I want to save up for something big like a uh, perfume or something and my points be expiring by the time it's time to get a perfume. So, Ulta, I don't like that. But I did get Chick-fil-A as well because y'all know... I'm just not about to run errands and then have to come home and cook. I'm just not. But yeah, let me go watch some Insecure or something. <laughs> hey you guys so today is actually friday and i'm so excited y'all the past couple days have just been a whirlwind yesterday i was up literally what feels like all night editing a video oh child okay that's one of the things that just comes with being a creator especially a small creator like girl i work 8 30 to 5 every monday through friday okay and then after work you know i still have things to do for youtube tiktok instagram whatever it is um so i really had to put the work in last night and it's too early in the year today's january 5th okay so it's too early in the year for me to be slacking off and saying oh i'm just not gonna post a video today no 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 no, no. i'm not gonna do that so um more of the story is i'm it's literally getting exported to youtube now so the video did get done baby but i am exhausted okay so um, i'm probably gonna end out the vlog soon because honestly i need to put this footage on my computer to see how long this vlog is <laughs> y'all i swear that's why my vlogs be longer than i actually anticipate them to yeah because i don't ever put them on my computer chair but this weekend i really just want to relax and just like debrief so i'm going to take my christmas tree down because you know first week of january baby it's time for you to go and just kind of chill i started a new book it's called love and other disasters so i'll insert a pop-up here i'm about a four foot away through the book it's almost 400 pages um and it's okay so far it's definitely not my favorite book i thought it was gonna be better than what it is but you know it's cute it's like imagine if like top chef had a romance book so once i finish it of course i will come through in a vlog and let you guys know how it is also y'all i absolutely love the video where i did um all of the books that i read in 2023 from i put best to worst but it was actually worst to best but y'all was picking up what i was putting down i really did enjoy that video and like coming up with that list in my mind so maybe i'll do something similar for minx miss in 2024 i'm not sure we'll see how much i read i did set my reading goal this year as 24 books because last year i finished 21 books at the end of the year i was able to fly through three novellas i think two or three novellas um which got me to the 21 and my goal was 12 so definitely your girl has been reading so we'll see you know what goes on this year and how many books and everything i finish and you know go from there but y'all i actually got one of my christmas presents in the mail today so well not in the mail but i had to go pick it up but so um my parents actually got me a new nameplate necklace 
and she is so freaking pretty but i do have to take her back to the store because i'm not sure what's going on with this chain it's like real long or you could like double it up but it's like real tight around my neck so i'm not really sure i don't really know what what was the end goal with this but the necklace itself is very very pretty y'all know my name plates say mix kinks because i mix kinks okay all right y'all i tried to show you the daggone necklace but it won't focus on the words but it's the same as like my old nameplate. this one just says mix kinks and yeah this is the one they got for me so y'all see how it doubles up like this but like this is for a child size head neck um, so it just be real tight against my neck. So I'm just going to see if they could either like take some of the extra and just make it one. Because I don't even know what this extra loop is. I don't think they intended to have this extra loop. But child, yeah, whatever. Um, just to add like a clasp or something so that, you know, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not really sure where they were going with this. But um, yeah, I don't know. I have to run to Target later on tonight. I have so much stuff to film. I have three videos to film. It's not so much stuff, but like, girl, it's so much stuff. I did my hair the other day, and I did use the um, Kinky Trusses Butter. Y'all know I'm trying to use those products up right now. Um, and I actually used a lot more than I anticipated, but love that. <laughs> but I will say my hair um, just didn't really last. I did a twist out. And I, y'all, I don't know why I did a twist out because my hair never works out with twist outs um i didn't have the time to like stretch it so and it just didn't mm -mm. so i basically just used a mousse today the cream of nature pure honey mousse not a big fan of that mousse but um it's cool for like a one or two day style situation but it doesn't have a whole lot of holes so i only use it most of the time to like restyle or if i know i'm only have my hair out on the weekends or something you know so um that my hair is in a couple grades with that right now because i have a huge amazon haul that i need to do i have a hair product call and then i have y'all so many books i have like 15 books for a book haul <laughs> lots lots of stuff but yeah y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and close the vlog out here i hope that you guys did enjoy again i'm so sorry that you guys are seeing this vlog so late because child the vlog that i edited yesterday is me putting up my christmas decorations and it's january 5th so yeah i'm gonna try and do better about getting my vlogs up faster um next year but i think that i just had so much content from like minx miss and um like all of these hauls and stuff like i just had a lot of content and i feel like i should have prioritized the vlogs a little bit better so it was more real time but i promise i'm gonna work on it this year y'all but yeah so i will see you guys in my next video i hope that you enjoyed definitely if you did go ahead and hit that subscribe button we absolutely would love to have you here and definitely if you guys have something that you want to see me do let me know down below let me know, okay? So I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.